words. I believe, well, these are probably the most obvious and natural source of all inspiration. Um, think of them, these noises that have specific meaning, squiggles and lines that are absolutely brimming with significance. And when they are arranged in a particular order, magic is created by words. So in a couple of sentences, just like that, you can find yourself in the middle of an adventure, um, in a faraway land, you will gasp, your blood will turn cold, you will laugh, and so on. And taking the wisdom of today, my wisdom, <laughs> at least whatever I call it, uh, the, the wisdom of today, and applying that to how I was as a child, I have a very strong feeling that it's the discovery of the power of words that they could just do absolutely anything that encouraged me to get involved in the storytelling business. And my oldest, oldest, oldest memories, I can see myself, I can't remember the story, but I do see myself telling stories uh, to my sisters, uh, my brother, friends, classmates, different people, you know, just doing all kinds of stuff with stories, stories, stories. And, um, you know, even live and all that stuff. Uh, that's more recent. And generally speaking, most of the time the stories obviously worked. But of course, <laughs> I can think of a few times when they didn't work. And with various degrees of tension, I can remember uh, certain moments when the story I was told, it, I was more or less freestyling. And the motivational factor was desperation. So I was in a jam and I'm trying to get out of the jam and I come up with some nonsense. And I, I'm, I'm sure I remember being confused by the fact that most of those kind of stories were just treated with scorn or just, you know, dismissed. I never understood why. It took me a long time. I had to become a parent until <laughs> I understood the weakness of a, a, a desperate child's story. Anyway, that's uh, words for you.